Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to UFC 3 for another title fight where tonight I'm going to be taking on Step Miocic with Cormier. But before we do get to the main event, we're going to be taking part in a couple other bouts on the main card, all starting out with this lightweight matchup between Michael Chiesa, or Chiesa, however you want to pronounce it, and Anthony Pettis. After this one, in the next video, I'm going to be taking part in a welterweight bout between Paul Felder and Perry. And then up into the first of the two heavyweight bouts tonight, Francis Ngonyu versus Derek Lewis, where I'll be fighting as Lewis. And then, of course, back to the title fight to cap it all off. So, without any further ado, we'll get straight into this first fight of the night and hopefully get this off to a good start. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Michael Maverick Chiesa and Anthony Showtime Pettis. So here he is, the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Submitted Benson Henderson to win the UFC title. That was August of 2013. But who could forget the off-the-cage kick at WEC 53, also against Henderson. It was that night, December of 2010, that really put Anthony Showtime Pettis on the mixed martial arts map and vaulted him into superstardom. Some adversity since. Showtime Pettis back on the horse tonight, Joe. Anthony Pettis may be one of the best Taekwondo strikers converted to mixed martial arts fighters. His highlight reel of kick knockouts is amongst the best in the sport. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Kiesa is 30, Pettis is 31. Kiesa is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands 60 points tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Michael. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Alrighty, here we go. Are ready to go with live action. Taking part as the former UFC lightweight champion. It's so interesting. His, you know, the thing that everyone's afraid of with Anthony Pettis. They're all afraid. Ah, come on. Of his kicks. They're afraid of his strikes, so they close the distance. Wow! Oh! He's rocked. Oh! That was quick. All right, so the first round is underway. You know he leads the league in submission attempts, right? So the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner going to try to go for the early oh, come on. That is his comfort zone. And if he 
can get this fight to the canvas, you got to think he could be getting a tap sooner rather than later. Clinch now. There we go. There, there it is. Really swung oh, everything missed. into that kick, but fell short. Back and forth we go. Oh, get fucked. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Chiesa, though. Caught him with a punch. Joe, you saw no shortage of those back. No. The foot stop now being employed by Pettis. Three minutes. Oh, nice right here. Oh, shit. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, He's got fuck. Under the chin now. He goes palm to palm first to try to finish it off. He might get a finish here. No. That rear naked fuck. Is in deep. Nah, I'm not going to be able to pull out of this. It's over. Shit. Oh I didn't see the defend option. Wow. He got in the choke, refused to tap. God damn it. Night -night. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep. But I, just, I didn't see the defend arrow before the throw, uh, uh, the second position. takedown. Like, oh, my God. That was just an epic fail. Epic fail. As he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And let's see it again. You can see him struggling, trying to wow. get free. And Barely halfway through the first out. round. Beautiful submission victory. And one last time. God Excellent damn it. Technique on that choke for the submission victory. I mean, there is just no getting out of that. Not with this guy. So there he is, your winner by damn. submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission. Well, that's got to be the quickest loss I've had on UFC 3 since starting out on this game. I've certainly well, never ever given up a submission before, that's for sure. Tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters Damn. in this division. Tonight, though, that is not how I wanted to start tonight. After getting the finish that he so sought coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coach is. Man, that was embarrassingly bad. This is going to be a fun night for this And team that's what he's going to do tomorrow night. Deserved. I mean, that's what he's got to do in the to team that team mobile arena in real life. Well, first loss Let's have a look at some of the stats, I guess. See how we were going up until then. He definitely had a couple of strikes on me. So we had five strikes. So we did get a few more strikes landed. We had one big one that knocked him loose. Like, got him all stunned and wobbly. So, wow. Two minutes 30 into the first round and we are subbed out. All right. Well, that was depressing and embarrassing. But stay tuned for the next one. Felder vs Perry in the welterweight category, hopefully we can get that win with Perry and get this night back on track.